Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Visio. In this module, I want to have a look at how you can put watermarks in the back of your diagrams. So first of all, if you go to the design tab and on the right hand side, you've got some preset backgrounds that you can select. So these are all very plain. Most often um, I go for that one or in older versions, you've got um, the globe that you can select. Um, I might, that might be it actually if I click on it. So what you've got there is an image that is very faint, hard to see. You can actually change the color and, and different style of this if you so wish. But that is just a, a page that comes in the background on your default page. Now, if I just delete this background page for a second, yes. Another way I could have done that was I could have added a page and then on this one, I could have gone into page setup and pointed it to be a background page. I could rename it. In fact, I will rename it. I'll call it logo and background none. And is it a foreground? Yes, it is at the moment, but I want it as a background. And then you can attach this background to that first page. So you've got some different options there. You can see, um, I'll, I'll leave the measurements in millimeters. Click OK to that. Nothing's happening yet, but if I go into page one and page setup on page one, the background wants to be the logo. So now I've attached the logo. Now there's nothing on the logo page at the moment, but I want to insert a picture Uh, I'll insert something from here. This calendar is a bit intrusive, but never mind. So if I put this calendar up in the top corner of this, and then just expand it down, should come actually. This is not the best background, and I probably need to fade that in a little bit because when I go back to the first page, that's going to be the background as it's meant to be. So if I just Make that a little bit bigger so it covers the white, like so. And there you have the background. So you can have almost any background you want image wise. But what you've got to bear in mind is that you still need to see the diagram. So this background probably needs to be um, changed slightly, you can fade it a little bit. Mm, that's not too bad. If I go back and have a look, yeah, and then the design set of this probably needs changing to a darker one. You can also bring in your logo as a background if you want. Obviously, that's not a logo, but if I go into the, the logo sheet, the background, I'm just going to zoom that in a little bit. So you could have company information across the top on your logo, whatever you want, really, as long as it's not too intrusive and it doesn't override what you've got on your diagram. So let's just insert a logo. So insert picture. And this is just going to come in quite large. That's why I've zoomed it in. So you just resize this to the size you want it. And then position this where you want it. So if I want it in the top right corner, and then if I just make the screen a little bit bigger, like so, so you can now adjust this again down like so. So that's in the top right hand corner. So if I go back to page one, you can see that in the top right hand corner. And now if I just insert a page, insert a page, it's um, just call it page three. It automatic, it's automatically picking up logo as the background, which is OK. I'll click OK to that. And that automatically has the logo there on page three and on page one. So every time you insert a page, once you've done a background page with whatever you've got on there, it's going to pick it up and attach itself to it. And if you don't want it to do that, you need to go into page setup and take it off by selecting none, which I'll do just to show you on that one. And then page three is just a blank unattached page without any 
logos or watermark or whatever you want to create. So that's basically all I want to show you in this little video, how to create a watermark, how to add your logo and attach it to multiple pages in Microsoft Visio. So hopefully that's been of use to you and thank you for your time and I'll see you in the next one.